this morning and oh my back went out again <laughs> so in this video I'm gonna show you what I did in order to get back off the floor literally uh, I was in my Ashtanga yoga practice and I was in a pose where I had my foot lifted up to here and I lifted a little bit more and boy it just popped up a little bit more and then right at that time the lumbar down in here just went I went down on the floor, bam. It's interesting because in the Ashtanga practice we do a lot of sun salutations and, and uh, so I've done a lot of stretching before that. I have 10 sun salutations and different standing poses and this is the end of the fi that first standing sequence of maybe, I don't know, 20 poses. I had no hint of any back pain. Uh, it's probably excavated because over the last uh, few days I've been running quite a bit. Uh, a lot more than normal and uh, it's been really good to be running up and down this the side of the volcano here in on the big island in Hawaii and, uh, and I was running up there and actually yesterday I did five and a third miles a day two days before that I did wow like four four miles or something and uh, you know usually I've been running maybe two miles once or twice a week and to do this and it was like really great I was a little tired yesterday but I recovered just fine and I had no hint that my back was gonna go out so there I am I'm collapsed on the floor like bent over collapsed on the floor you know and in that agonizing pain of a slip disc right <laughs> and so eventually I kind of like got it into my mind, you know, okay, this is going to hurt. Uh, let's just turn off the mind hurt pain a bit. And I started to move around a bit and started to stretch to a point maybe half an hour later that I could get up off the floor, do a couple of chores and uh, start to move around and start to, s to straighten up. You know, you're bent over, right? And what I think is happening actually is that this whole lower back because of the running and because of the yoga is resetting. So anyway, I, I popped a couple of Tylenol by then and um, I was beginning to move along and then I went like, oh, I remember doing this years ago and I'd forgotten to document it. And that is to put this right on the hip. The pelvis is here, right? And I'm putting it right somewhere in below the pelvis. And just to sort of support it, what I want to do is stretch and bend these areas. Well, I couldn't bend like that back then. I could very slowly and delicately grab the, ca the counter here and, and start to move out. Well, oh, here we go. So what I did was, was, the goal was to get my elbows down if I could. And, um, and what happened was that I started to slide down across my knuckles, over the pelvis, oh, and into where the paravertebrals are. So I'm really massaging the paravertebrals. And I started to move down. And as I moved down, this whole area became like liquid compared to the armored version from the pain. So I went down further and further and Finally, I got down to a place where I started going up on the back ribs here. And it's kind of like I'm trying to keep the, my sound towards the camera because I don't want to stack, but I need to lean up. So sorry, folks. Um, and get that all the way down. And then I move my toes back like this to get right underneath my body weight and slowly whip that big arch in here maintained it ah. Ah. onto the counter because it's dizzying Ooh. so that's ah, that's my trick uh, that's my back pain stretching it's kind of like an inversion but it's not right uh, it makes the whole spine your You've got your knuckles on the paravertebrals there, so the whole, so you're bending the spine forward. And actually, it's largely reconnected. I mean, reseated the disc. Wow. So that's the third time I've done it actually now. Oh, not bad. Oh. You know what? This sort of pain. Now let me just walk around out here and see what happens. So, uh, wow, 
you know, when I got up the first time, it was one of these things, you know, where you like this for a longest time, and then you can start to come up a little bit more. That's how it was. And now this is like, I don't know, two hours later. Ah, it feels so good. So actually what I'm gonna do now, because I know with this level of pain, just by going for a short run, you know, two thirds of a mile or something, is enough to reset and reseat everything down and put everything square again. So that's my tip. If you liked it, hit us a like, got any comments, that's too. And be sure to subscribe and hit the um, notifications bell for when I put up more uh, information on, well, health. And as a health coach, you know, my, my goal is to help you aspire to goals that are beyond where your health is at, where you get a vision of where you could be. And uh, if that's for you, then we could talk about coaching there. So aloha.